Hello everyone. Well, in, in case you're wondering if I'm still alive or something, I am. And so is this machine. It's uh, nearly ready. And uh, this is a, uh, the, the Bulkman 3D Workbee CNC milling machine. Now, what is a milling machine, machine action exactly? Well, this can carve out any type of, well, wood or aluminium on top of this surface, surface here. This is a milling machine. And I'll just show you how it works in a moment. Let me just open it up for a moment. And uh, still a lot of stuff needs to be done. Well, first off, you've got the VFD, which is uh, controlling the spindle out here. And uh, you can put in several milling bits, like this one, for instance. This can carve out anything from wood. Like, for instance, this guitar over here. Well, this is just a template. I still have to carve out my own guitar from this or some other piece of wood. Yeah, so I'm planning to build a guitar with this thing, an electric guitar. I still have these pieces of wood. I retrieved them from my staircase, basically. <laughs> but yeah, whatever works, right? Whatever tweets your turkey. Anyway, I still need to do the vacuum cleaning part. So I've got some tubing here that still needs to be installed. But other than that, well, I've got the water cooling here and uh, a bucket with water and the pump and the little print that holds up the silicone tubing here and uh, yeah and this is basically the electronics if you would like to know more about that then let me know in the comment section or so but this is basically this red board is basically the brains of it all uh, it's a protonier CNC shield connected to a Raspberry Pi well, you might not know what the Raspberry Pi is. I have a website where I explain that a bit. I'll put a link in the description or so. But this is a Raspberry Pi, a single board computer, which means it can run a, a Linux operating system. It's got four USB, an ethernet connection. It's got uh, an HDMI connection for your television and such. It's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and it's got a quad-core processor on board, 1.2 or 1.6 gigahertz or so. It's a very nice computer for a hundred bucks or less. And uh, this is what you see here. It looks like Windows 10, but actually it's not. It's, uh, it's Linux. It's called Twister OS. And uh, you can just browse the internet, you can watch movies, for instance. I hope you can see this multimedia. I'm going to just start up Kodi, for instance. And I've installed this program. And with this you can watch, well, TV. I've got uh, about 10,000 channels worldwide. So you, here you have an entire list of uh, TV channels. Let me just select one of them. Uh, some are geo-blocked, but these are over. 10,000, well, 9,000 at the moment. Now let me just open a, a channel like this one, for instance. There you go. I think that's Dire Straits or something. Well, anyway, let me stop it. So I can watch about 9,000 channels at this point, and uh, they will be updated once in a while. So yeah, that's one of the possibilities. And uh, yeah, there's a, you can just open Excel sheet for instance, like so, an Excel sheet, or Word, stuff like that. You can browse the internet with Firefox or Chromium browser, whatever. And uh, if you'd like to know more about this, I'll make another video about it, of course. But right now we're, uh, the main priority is uh, this machine and the guitar. So let me just switch over to uh, 
the Raspberry Pi on this machine down here. It's connected with a HDMI cable and mouse and keyboard. I can just use my KVM switch here. And here you go. This is uh, the operating system running on the CNC milling machine. And I can just, uh, I, I downloaded a, a G code. Well, I, I created a G code file. Let me start that for a moment and let's see what happens. There you go. It's alive. It's alive. And I can't resist, of course. Okay. okay. So, it's moving, it's spinning, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's already operational, there's some, some things I still have to do with this thing, thing. but let's, let's take a look at the guitar that I'm going to build for a moment. So, I received all the parts I needed already. That's a scope I just bought. Very interesting stuff. But this is the fretboard, 24 frets with steel frets, not the nickel copper ones. And uh, I hope bought a whole bunch of pickups. I don't know which suits best or which sounds best. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, there's some tools for fretting. Bunch of tools here. Uh, we've got the bridge. We've got tuning, magnet tuning, mechanics here, a lot of things. And I've got some chameleon, chameleon flakes, chameleon flakes, which means, well, it's hypershift chameleon flakes, however you call it. You mix this in with uh, a clear varnish. And uh, I'm going to spray it on top of the guitar with this little spray gun. And... Uh, it will change color depending on the lighting so that's going to be interesting as well so this was a little bit of an, an update a quick update where i'm at at this point and uh, things are coming along nicely basically and there's so many things i could still tell about this this machine but yeah <laughs> it will do well and as you can see, I put uh, the entire design in Blender as well. Complete 3D design. Blender is a uh, free 3 cut software. You can just download from blender.org. And I dedicated uh, a playlist with a tutorial how to work with it. And uh, it's a wonderful piece of programming. Completely freeware. So that's great. I've got these uh, and limit switches here with some schematics actually the red should be blue and the blue should be red but uh, I thought this was an input pin seems to be an output pin it eventually so yeah anyway uh, yeah I'm gonna put this on Thingiverse a link will be in the description and uh, well the whole thing is resting on tennis balls just to reduce the noise to the floor and it's standing on wheels and I didn't control those and at the bottom uh, we glue tiles, floor tiles, to, to this uh, wooden surface here. So it would be a bit heavier and that would reduce some of the noise as well. So then we'll see how that works out in the future. So yeah, as you can see, I have a range of topics I would still like to cover with uh, new video, upcoming videos. And one of them is the Kodi and uh, the, the Twister OS and such. But uh, my main focus is right now the guitar, building this machine and uh, finishing up and then build a guitar. And it will contain some pretty unique features, amongst which a couple of 3D prints and such. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. It might be a while. Uh, if you're not subscribed, uh, please do hit the like button now and then if you're interested. And uh, I hope I will be back soon. Speaking of subscriptions, you know, uh, I passed the 50 and I'm heading to 60 subscriptions by now. It's not that many, but it's 50 or 60 people who enjoy this type of thing. And that's quite important to me. 
I think uh, I should do a giveaway or something. You know, a 3D print of some kind. I'm gonna think about that and uh, I'll get back to you. We'll see.